Yeah. I've always wanted to kick a duck up the arse. <laughs> <laughs> Right, no, I'm going to interview Steve, you know, because I used to be a chat show host. Well, I am a chat show host. <laughs> well. Well, did you see me at Ricky Gervais? No. <laughs> I worked on it and I didn't watch it. No <laughs> one watched true, it. That's true, that's terrible. No one watched what it. What do you think, Carl? I loved it. See? Are you thinking of Parkinson? And I didn't know Ricky then, so I'm being fair. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to interview Steve Merchant now. Okay. Live on our XFM 104.9. We should say that more often. Yes. Cause Ricky Gervais. Because they might tune and I think they've got a hospital radio by mistake. <laughs> um, yeah, Ricky Gervais. Yeah. Okay, um, Steve Merchant. Great to be here. Thank Hi. You much. Now, um, uh, you're a very tall man, if yes. I might say. You're six foot seven, aren't you? Yes. Was that a bit of a problem at school? Uh, well, yeah, a few few jokes here and there. Yeah, a bit of gentle ribbing, but not yeah. really too problematic. What's the weather like up there? Well, exactly. <laughs> Skinny, all that sort of. All <laughs> oh, your lanky. Yeah. Oh dear. And uh, that, but yeah. uh, uh, what about the glasses? Well, I wear glasses, but again, that wasn't really a problem, you know. They didn't call you four eyes, really. They didn't call you four eyes, freaky lank no, thing. No, no, they didn't call you freak no. pot. Freaky the freakish All right, I'm gimp, not sure I'm four eyes gimp. Oh, well, I'm, not sure well, I'm just saying, they didn't do that. As an interview, I'm not sure that's the best approach. Okay, okay. And then you I'm left school. His. You left school. Yeah. You went to university. Mm. There were you called freaky, no, freak eyed, four eyed git. Freaky, four eyed git. Are you sure? Never been called it. Were you called freaky, lanky, four eyed, stupid hair, um, boggle eyed, freak face? Fish face? Is your chat show coming back? <laughs> With me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Well, Carl, you failed miserably. The scientist stuck away. Right, one more chance. What What's happened in the last couple of weeks? Just one more chance to... What have you seen in the last couple of weeks? Uh, well, like I said, I don't, I don't really watch the news and that, so... Right. I can't, uh tell them about that. But in a way, I think they're better off not knowing... I think that's the only good thing about being out there, isn't it? Not knowing about the bad stuff going on. Yeah. So, I can't help them there. They don't need to look at the weather, do they? No, don't you know. No. But, uh, I'll tell you about the Pope and that. Yeah, he's mm. pretty extensive. What uh, about the, uh, the EU constitution and the, uh, the no votes? What, uh, what do you make of that? Uh, what are your views? What what's the problem there? Oh, f this this isn't this no, isn't, better, better this isn't broadcasting now, is it? Knowing. This is nothing. Come up with something. Well, the, talk. the fat baby then, the fat baby that they found that was on the telly. Right. Well, what was that? It's just a little fat baby. That. Uh, uh, oh, for f I don't know. What, it's just a, just a little fat kid and that. What? Tell what? It what was is on the telly? It was on the telly? And but that, what was it? on the telly? You just said fat baby, fat baby, fat baby, fat baby on telly, fat baby on telly. Do you meant to be telling them what's happened in the world? T well, tell me about the fat baby on telly. It's just they've found some. Uh, there's there's this illness called Momo, right? And uh, they've just got this. This woman had a kid. It's really sad. It was on Channel Four and that, right? And. Uh, Kids born. You sure it wasn't Jimmy Carr? Kids born and that, right? Momo. It's called Momo. Isn't that a yeah. Black Music Award? No, no, right. Little little fat baby and that, and uh, there's only three of them in the world. These little fat babies. Right. And uh, so one of them. They're in danger. How fat? Are you not telling what do you mean? How fat are they? Six stone. It was. It was only two. And uh, there's there's three of them in the world, and there was this one, and there was one in Brazil. Are they like and, uh, endangered? Is that the problem? Because <laughs> there's only three of them in the world. I don't I'll be yeah. worried. Is it like a conservation campaign? They're hunted for their flesh. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's sad. If you, I know uh, it's easy to show that, but, you, but if you've you seen it, you know, it's a bit, bit sad than that. Um, well, I haven't seen it and I know nothing about it. Well, I've told you, there's three of them in the world. I d I d uh, okay, what else was on telly? Uh, but, um, but while I was at my parents' house, they, they often, uh, you know, they keep clippings of things, you know, if if we've been mentioned in the papers, they like to keep a record of them and stuff, because, uh, I like to show it to my grandparents, you know, and keep a, you know, keep, keep fully abreast of things. And, uh, they, I, you know, managed to find a couple of them. This is what, I don't know if you've heard this, Carl, it's, for people who don't realise, Carl was making a couple of little three-minute TV projects recently that were on Channel 4, and in the Sunday Times, they, uh, someone's written a letter about Carl to the Sunday Times. Wow. Uh, they can send in comments and views on things they've seen, read, heard. Oh, excellent. And this is what it, someone wrote to the uh, Sunday Times. Oh. Who is Carl Pilkington, <laughs> and why have I just wasted five minutes of my life listening to some of his cretinous thoughts on Channel 4? 
He asked, why are there so many dinosaurs on display in museums? Quotes, couldn't they just choose the best one and just show that? He summed it all up by deciding that we know too much. Somebody clearly doesn't know enough to know that this is a complete waste of airtime showing no wit, intellect or creativity. That's from Wendy Robinson in Berkshire. You've got to have your critics. You know what I mean? You've got to have your critics. Of course you have. If everybody liked what you did, then you're not doing the right thing. <laughs> you wasted five minutes and they were three minute wonders, so it must have felt <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two thirds as long again. But think how an angry she must have been to have bothered writing this letter to the Sunday yeah. Times. Well, that's good. I mean, though. you it's really must some... have. It's all about getting people thinking. That's what I always say to you. As long as I'm getting people thinking about what I've said, she remembered what I said. But what what views did you put out in these short films, which you feel people perhaps should be talking about, discussing, digesting, thinking about? Uh, just stuff that was in my head that day when I was filming them. Yeah. Is it in your head now? Uh, some of it is. <laughs> I re now you've remembered me what I said. Now you what? Now you've sort of told me what I said in that one. Yeah, I remember saying that. Yeah. And, I, and I stick by it. Remember him some other stuff? Yeah. I'll tell you now, right? This, uh, yeah, if, I don't know if Wendy's, you know, listened to this. But, Almost certainly not. But listen, right? <laughs> I was saying about the, the uh, museums, right, and how they're big and everything. And they've Brilliant. got dinosaurs all over the shop. I read right. mm. that in, the, in that museum, they've got something like... Uh, seven million bits of stuff in there, <laughs> right? Now, when I spend two hours in somewhere, just show me the good stuff. Don't be saying we've got seven million bits. Because there was a fella, who, a fella who opened it, right? I did a bit of research on the museum. A fella who opened the museum up. Uh, well, what was his name? It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter, does it? What museum was it? It was the London one. Oh, the London one, yeah, okay. So he's in there and he's, he's collecting all this, you know, bits of stuff. What stuff? Just whatever's knocking about that oh, time. Right, okay. just, it seemed like you he never searched it. He never chucked anything away. He's oh, like, right. oh, I won't put it in the bin. Pop it on the shelf. Okay, right? so yeah. So he's put everything on a shelf. Oh, in right, yeah. Museum. Then as time. Oh, went I think you're on, going into too much detail, but just give us the gist of it. No, but all I'm saying is, uh, he keeps everything, and if you keep everything, sometimes it'll be good stuff, right? Um, and a lot of the stuff was going missing, the good stuff. But people who set these museums up are just as crafty. <laughs> what? The fellow who found Tutankhamen, he was pocketing all sorts of fingers and stuff in his pockets on the way out. <laughs> that had rings on them and stuff. So all I'm saying is, why is she having a go? But she's hang on, wait, that, I, what's that got to do with someone pocketing? I don't understand your because, point. Because she's sort of moaning at me going, don't have a go at the museum and the dinosaurs. But no, everybody's she, but she's saying having a go at your idiot. fatuous you're, point. Yeah, you're absolutely uneducated, but, stupid I mean, I, point I, that I, you got you got T V time to talk absolute shit, if I could uh that's not paraphrase my fault, Wendy. That's not my fault. If someone says they want me to do a little programme and you can do what I want, I went and did what I did. Free but, speech, innit? But it? we just gave you the chance then to defend yourself and you just confirmed Wendy's point a thousand times over. What was all this waffle about people nicking stuff? What's that got to do with anything? Because she's having a go at me, I didn't nick but anything. But she's having a go at you for talking uh, uh, nonsense uh, that's of no consequence, which is what you just did that's then. That's nonsense. But what was your point? Oh, all right, then well, we'll watch look, Wendy's little programme when that goes out. Let's <laughs> see what she's got to talk about. Sick of her. You see what I'm saying, though? The way the world... We've we've changed more than the world has. We can't handle anything now, can we? Look at it. Like I say, a bit of snow, a bit of cold. Everything comes to a standstill. Yeah. Oh, I can't go out. It's dangerous. You'll slip over. People having time off work. Yeah. What would you do, right? If you run a business, right, your business could go under, right? It snows a bit. You've got ten employees. You're paying them well. And they go, I can't come in today, Carl. It's a bit icy. I'll do it, I'll do it, okay? Right, they're snowed in, right? You're running the business. What are you running? It's a... Uh, let's not... Don't, you know, don't I'm not going to big myself up. It's just a, no, it's a factory. It, uh, it's it's new bends. I make you, No, new bends. New bends for... You Toilet. Know, so yeah. you run a... Okay, right, okay. So, from you, you pay them all right, don't you? I'd say most of them are on above average. So you're there. What time do you get in? About quarter to nine. Quarter to nine, waiting for them to come in at nine, yeah? Yeah. Okay, right, it's snowing. It's a bit snow snowy, you got there, it took you a bit while, you'd set off early, did you, or...? Gave myself a bit more time, because I had to put the heating on the car. OK, ring, 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 ring. Hello, uh, uh, KP Plumbing. Oh, oh, uh, is that, is that Miss Pilberton? Yeah, it is, yeah, who's that? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's Sheila. Um, 
Listen. Sheila, shouldn't you be here by now? Yeah, no. Um, I was going to set off. Well, don't, but... we'll set off now. Stop wasting time. We've got a big order on. No, I know. We're all but... on a bonus here if we get this done. I'll see you in uh, ten minutes, shall I? I can't make it. What? I can't make it. Why not? The car won't start and it's slippy on the drive. I just can't get out. Get the transport. I'll see you in... I'll give you twenty minutes, all right? Don't no, worry about it. Well, Thanks for calling. I can't, I'll see you in a bit. I'm also scared of the ice. I'm scared of the ice. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to come here today. It's dangerous. So what are you going to do? Well, I'm just going to wait until the ice and snow goes away and then but I'm going to come but in. But they're predicting it's going to be about two weeks before yeah, they clear I'm not, I can't really travel in this. It's oh, a bit dangerous. Well, I'll tell you what. You stay at home. I'll, uh, I'll replace you because I need someone to come in. Well, you're big firing work. me because I can't get into work with this. This. Well, I, I got think... into work, Sheila. Yeah, I know, but oh, you don't live with me, do you? If you did live with me, then no, you'd probably it see. Bad, how... It was bad where I was as well. Yeah, oh, I'm you, here. Do you know how bad it is here? When you come round and have a look how bad I'm, it is here, no, you drive I'm my. Not I'll tell you what, you come round and drive my fucking car because I'm snowed in. You fucking calling me a cunt, and I'll tell you if you <laughs> fire me, I'll tell you to drive you in. You bald headed wanker. Right, you're fired anyway for for that. You're in fucking trouble then. Mm, right then, see ya. Right, and right. then she's she's done with. She's weak anyway. Ring, ring. KP plumbing. Oh yeah, uh, is that uh, Miss Pilkington? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Hi, it's Bobby. Hi, um, Bob. Yeah, um, bit of trouble. Um, uh, in my area, it's absolutely snowing. It's possible. No one's getting out. I live near Sheila. Bob, by listen. The way. Yeah, well, yeah. Sheila's just been on. She's saying she All can't right. get in either. She can't. I've just seen her out there trying to dig her car out, and she's at uh, about. She's really, really tried hard to get to work, but she can't do it because she's she's not very rich, and her car doesn't work. She hasn't got the right tyres, and there's no public transport. They've cancelled those. Wrong snow on uh, this country. I'm not going to make it in today, son. So um, I'll see you tomorrow, right, boy? Well, no, you're saying you'll see me mm. tomorrow. Yeah. But but you'll probably call up tomorrow with the same thing. Well, only now, if it's snowing still. Listen, might not have well, I can't, I can't run a business like this, Bob. Yeah, it's not my fault, is it, really? So go round to Sheila's and, and like, slag me off if you want. But I'll tell you I'm what, not you're you not off. coming Just... back here. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> one chance. <laughs> give them one chance. Oh. Well, you didn't even give them one chance. No, because they'd done it before. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Just annoys me. Be there. Come back around. XFM. 104.9. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkerton. I asked Carl in the week, right, what animal would he never trust? <laughs> Even if he, he got to know it and it was a pet and everything, what animal would he never trust? What was it? Was this, uh, a wasp? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Why wouldn't you trust a wasp, Carl? I just think that, uh um, They're shifty? All, all other animals, if you get them at an early age, <laughs> you can sort of <laughs> make them like you. You can that. train them, don't you? A wasp. Nothing. Never. <laughs> Is there anything you- do you think there's anything you could do that would kind of, uh, win the favour and win the trust of a wasp? What would you have to do, do you think? Well, have you had it from a little grub? Yeah. And you fed it- he had his favourite marmalade. It doesn't affect it though, does it? A bee <laughs> dies, doesn't it, if it does it, so it's not gonna, like, use it willy-nilly. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy for you to say. But a wasp. Uh, I, I Do you, what they, you think they sting arbitrarily? They just sting for the fun of it? They're, like, like sort of, like, delinquent insects? Like delinquent I think so, cos last yeah. night, right, I mean, this is part of educating Ricky in a way, but something I learned last night hmm. was that tarantulas only bite you if you annoy it. Right. They don't, they don't, they, do you know how people say, oh, if you're in a sleeping bag living in a jungle, a spider will get in there and it'll bite you. Yeah, yeah. Apparently not, you've got to really annoy it. The thing that it really hates is having its leg sort of twisted. <laughs> it hates having its leg twisted. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, but, but that's more for... Is that what they said in a documentary? <laughs> No, no, I actually said, almost also, certainly not, Steve. <laughs> almost certainly not. Were you watching not. a documentary? No, 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 I was reading it. Oh, you were reading it? And, um, it was this guy- Was it scrawled on the wall scene <laughs> like a public toilet? No, I'll tell <laughs> no, you, no. I'll, I'll tell you more about that later. Oh, it's right, part of the, uh, thing. Okay, okay. So, part if you don't trust the, the evil wasp, what, uh, animal do you trust? What's your favourite? Well, I, I also, uh, I said to him, right, supposing your, your mind, right, was put, your mind got put into any animal, right, and you've got to get from where you are now, Right to Glasgow, right as an animal, right. But the authorities will be looking out for it, <laughs> okay. and it's shooting you, right. And uh, w w you went through loads, didn't you? I was thinking about it for a th it must have took me about an hour. So your yeah. mind, sorry, your mind has been put into an animal. Animal, well, yeah. So it's you and in you, this animal thinking right, yeah. that you've got to get to somewhere. But, but, but the maybe, maybe know you're in the animal. Yeah, maybe your body is in Glasgow or something, you've got to get this animal to get to you so it can transfer its mind back into your body. But, but the but government knows that I'm. Oh, <laughs> we've all had that conversation. <laughs> 
<laughs> so the government, the government's going, Carl can't have your own brain back. I only have it with Carl, never yeah, mind these conversations, yeah. go on, yeah. So yeah, so you're, you're on the way. So think about it, you, you think about it just for a second, so, let's recap. <laughs> your, your body's in Scotland. Right. He's the only one that takes my question seriously. Your, your brain is in London. Uh-huh. Right? <laughs> and there's like loads of security and stuff looking out in the sky for animals or looking on, on the field seeing what's trying- looking a bit suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Trying- trying to get to your body- And they're shooting the brain them. And they're shooting everything and killing all the animals. What thing would you pick to get your brain to Scotland that wouldn't get caught? And I reckon I- I- I've got the answer. A wasp? No, cos think about it, a lot of people get irritated if it sort of wanted to get a lift <laughs> in a car going down the motorway, if someone's driving it's a, it's a wasp yeah. in the car, it's a yeah. nightmare. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. <laughs> cause a right accident. Yeah. So think of something that people wouldn't, you know. And the clock's ticking as well. You you're know, taking you've... this really very seriously, yeah. aren't you, Carl? you've only got a couple you of- thought, You've given this a lot of thought, haven't you? You have. Yeah. Um, so, uh, something with speed. Yeah, it's something got- Something can travel quite speedily. Well, well that's- yeah. well, And something that's also inconspicuous. Yeah. 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 Is that the sort of thing you're-, you're yeah. that's what you're doing? Yeah. Um, and is it a- is it a creature that's, uh, that's native to this country? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it is. I've got no idea, Carl, what are you think? Tell him. A flea. A flea? Think Tell him why. It. Think about it. Um, right, this flea, it's got my brain. Mm. It's dead small, the flea. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks right. for clearing that up. <laughs> yeah. And it's- it, so it goes, right, I've got to get to Scotland. So it jumps on someone who's going to Euston Station. Right. They- they don't know it's there. No. The government can't see it. Government <laughs> 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 can't see it! Steve! <laughs> think of that state then! Think of you just tuned in! Yeah. Now, uh, people get on the train, go to Glasgow or Edinburgh, wherever in Scotland mm. it is. It jumps off, it goes right, uh, jumps on someone else who's going the way it needs to go. Gets there, still no one's seen it. Jumps on me, I get my brain back. Yeah. The government are like, Phew. But- and you feel confident that your brain would fit in that of a fleas? Well, you said there was no problem with the size of it. You said you could- That certainly wouldn't be. So. No. No. <laughs> you, I, I pretty much genius. you could download everything you know into a flea. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, that's genius. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, What would you thinking. rather have, right? Um, roller skate feet, and there's little wheels, right? Uh, chopstick hands. Yeah? Mm. Instead of hands, chopsticks instead of hands, wheels instead of feet. Yeah. Right? Or acne? Uh, how big are the wheels? <laughs> <laughs> Can I take you guys back to the old school? Do you mind if we take them, take it back to the old school? Well, yeah, what are you gonna do? What are uh, you gonna lay on me? No, I just, maybe a bit of a Del Sol. Yeah, 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 Is that wrong? Yeah. Is it wrong yeah. going back to the old school? No, 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 no,
<laughs> so, uh, oh, it, it actually oh. happens on Wednesday. Oh, God. Anyway, oh. so, um... Rich, I noticed that you were laughing and almost had a heart attack. <laughs> Doesn't bode well for the boxing match, I've got a cough at the moment, and I... I've had me lems it. Carl's theme tune there, by Placebo. Special needs. On XFM 104.9. Right. New Year's resolution, Carl? Um, I don't know. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't do it, really. It's so what about I something like, I don't know, start smoking? Do you mind? There must be something. Uh, no, it's a waste of time, isn't it? I don't, don't, don't bother with that. Right. You any, see? Yeah. Me, no, I've never really made any New Year's resolutions. Just, I just be good to people. Just treat everyone as you want to be treated yourself. Mm. Give to charity. Um, hate crime, racism, famine, sexism. I, I, I know you're gonna keep to all those, except the gift to charity, that's... We, me and Carl find that a little bit hard to believe. Never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've always gotta break at least one of your news resolutions. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, well, I, I think I'll be nice to Carl. What about Learn More? I was thinking that. I wanna I'm Learn More. teaching you stuff. I've, I've, I've got, I, I watched, uh, I'll tell you what, Christmas telly was dreadful this yeah. year. I actually, I don't know if I've hit that age where I think it, but, I think consciously I thought this is worse than usual. Yeah. And I ended up watching that Discovery Channel and History Channel mm. again, and I watched four episodes in a row of um, this fantastic documentary, 1418 War, um, narrated by Dame Judy, uh, Dame Judy Dench, and it's brilliant. I just can't get enough of it. I hated history at school, and now I want to know everything. Yeah. And uh, uh, I think that's mine. Learn, learn all the stuff about yeah, stuff. I, I like learning though. I always yeah. say that to you, I'm always looking up stuff. When I was on holiday, even though it was sunny outside and they had big holes to look at if I wanted to, <laughs> I stayed in and watched Discovery there and was watching stuff about scorpions and that. Yeah, what, what, what did you learn? Well, nothing, because it was all in Spanish. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I just watched it. What, what I found ah, odd, right? What I found... It's scorpion, it's a very good thing. It's only about poison, you get away with What I don't understand is, with scorpions, right, Um they have like this this sort of weapons, don't they? They have the poison and stuff, right? right? Which can kill a man. Yeah. But there was a couple of little animals and that, that were its sort of enemy, yeah. and it stung them, and it didn't kill them. So what's the point? Well, firstly, not all scorpions kill a man. Some of them, they're... This one things, did, said. Yeah, well, they, they, they range from, like, bee stings to so much venom it can take down a horse on, on things like spiders and snakes and scorpions. So it depends. But a scorpion that will kill a man would kill a rabbit. So I don't know what you're talking about. No, there was a snake that it stuck its thing into, and some sort of beaver, and they were just like <laughs> running about. There's nothing funny about that. So why are we laughing? <laughs> well, the snake wasn't running about, was it? Well, it's, it's slithering about a bit. Yeah. What was the beaver doing when just, the snake? Just, it just sort of. I think it ate it in the end. What? At what? At the scorpion. It just wandered off. <laughs> well, so it wasn't a beaver. Well, there you go. There's You've no that. way it was a beaver. All right, an otter. <laughs> This is what you pieced together from a show in Spanish. Well, oh. I'm just saying though, how come it can't kill something that small, yet there's someone on holiday that's no sort of danger to that scorpion, we're not gonna harm it, right? And yet it can kill a man. <laughs> so you say, up, but Carl. I don't believe it. Shut up mate, seriously, this is gobbledygook. Taught you something again though, that's what I'm no, saying. No, what have I'm you always... taught us though? What is, what is that, what is the fact that's come out of that? A scorpion can kill a man, but the beaver was dancing with a snake, then it well, that, You do that That's not a fact. Though. That's not a fact. Down. New Year's Eve I taught him something, right, about, uh, dead people. No. You know what, the things that taught me, I was saying, you're talking shite. He says they found out your soul weighs an ounce. <laughs> your soul? Yeah. Your soul weighs an ounce. Right, who, who found this out? I read it. Your arsehole weighs an ounce. Yeah. There's no <laughs> such thing as a soul weighs an ounce. You're talking to devil. All right. <laughs> Have you got any yeah, monkey yeah. news? Um, so what do they do? They 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 measured they they weighed someone who was alive and they were waiting for you to die. Then weigh you again. There was no. Someone there was it's someone. Now you've lost an ounce. You know, so it must be a soul shooting off to heaven. It was someone who was really ill, and yeah. they said we can't do anything for you here, but we've got a bit of a idea that we want to do. We've been waiting <laughs> for this. Stuck him on some scales. He said, right, you weigh nine pounds and an ounce or whatever, because yeah. he was wasting away. Yeah. He died. Nine pounds. <laughs> right. Fine. Well, that's proof if proof we needed. Talking uh, shite. Monkey news, we might as well leave it. Now come on, no, come, come on, on, tell monkey news. No, it's, it, it's nothing, uh, that great, really. Is it worth playing the jingle? 
quickly. Go on then. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Right, it's about a monkey. Four, 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 four. It's about this this woman monkey who was born in 1834. <laughs> right, half monkey, half woman. No, not true. It happened apparently. It was Impossible. In the, it was in the Daily Mail. Right. <laughs> okay. The Victorian ape woman was a name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, I christened uh, this, uh, thing a Victorian Ape Woman. Well, we thought Sandra. No, I'm calling it Victorian Ape Woman. She was about four foot. No, didn't happen. She had lovely thick black hair on her head, and on the back of her legs, and her arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright. Save so stockings. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, and she's... she didn't need a bustle because of her huge ape-like ass sticking <laughs> out the back of her dress. She was good at reading and sewing. Um, well, they, the well, it was good because they didn't have opposable thumbs. So uh, uh, she could speak three languages. Yes, she, uh, was human, monkey, and monkey human. Twenty offers of marriage. Does that annoy you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> um, ah, absolute twaddle. All right, well, that's... more rubbish than your soul weighing an ounce. Let's leave A it Victorian there, monkey let's woman. Leave it there, then. See you next week with some more twaddle. I was worried we wouldn't have the old magic in 2004, oh, but we're no. still talking shit. <laughs> Merry New Year. <laughs>、So, so、the one, <laughs> so one that we didn't get round to on Educating、yeah. Ricky was,、uh, I'll be no buying one of them. Go on.、Um, are you familiar、mm, <laughs> <laughs> with,、okay. the, with the same white elephant? Something is a white elephant. Yeah, I don't、oh, think so. Hold on. You phoned me last night and said, What does white elephant mean? <laughs> and I told you. Yeah, I know, but I know where it came from, but I just was wondering what it was about. So, how, in what way is educating Ricky you calling me up and asking me something? <laughs> well, do, do you know how it came about? You've given away some of the secrets of the show there, it would appear. I didn't realise he was phoning you for information. Well, he just asked me what, what the term white elephant meant in sort of like colloquial. <laughs> did, he, did he say, why, why, why are you interested, Carl? No reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, go on, go on. Well, what it is, ages ago when. So, what do we understand white elephant to mean? It's. Well, some of the juice list that's like a bit of a, you know, a, 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 a you know, something that you wouldn't want around that's just, that's just stood there doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Carl. So, uh. <laughs> So years ago, when <laughs> when people used to use elephants, years more, ago, go on. More, when people used to use elephants, yeah, go more, on. more than they do now. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> more than they do now. This doesn't involve a midget, does it? No, no, no. <laughs> so um, so you know they use them in the workplace and stuff. Sure. Yeah, yeah, as factories. Sort of, you know, yeah, yeah. To move stuff around. Teenagers. And that. <laughs> yeah, security guards. <laughs> yeah. Can't trust them with the buns though. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they stopped using them. Oh、right. God, go on. So there was loads of loads of elephants knocking about, about. and the thing is, right, we couldn't move from. If you have a lot of something,、uh -huh. you also have a lot of demic ones, don't you? you a lot, lot of what? Of, you know, sort of demicky ones, ones that aren't right, really. Demic, demic. Well, you know, like it, they weren't, they weren't properly. They weren't. They weren't properly. <laughs> they weren't Sorry, but Carl, properly. what are you what, doing? Right, I'm getting to the story. So what I'm telling they you were, is, they were a bit demicky, so they weren't properly. Have you started making words up?、Right. Yeah, yeah, you Stanley Unwin, Listen, reincarnated. Demicky. Yeah. There was a lot of albino elephants knocking about.、Okay. Where? Where is this? Um, old Africa. 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 <laughs> Uh, should we say Africa? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If an answer's got a question mark at the end, I'm not well, sure. It's either Africa or India, but I'll give you a clue. Were、well, these elephants? Do they have big ears or little ears? Um, I didn't sort of notice size of the elephants. I noticed what I noticed is they were white because they were albino elephants. Okay, right. So. Uh, that's why they're heading. I'll be no buying one of them. Okay. No buying one of them. So, <laughs> what would happen is people who didn't know what they were doing, like you know, you get people making a mistake buying cars that are full of problems and that. Back、yeah. then, when people were buying elephants, they'd go up to someone, say, "I'm after an elephant," and the fellow would say, "Yeah, I've got one here for you.、Sure. This is a nice one,"、mm -hmm. and it was all white and stuff, and it had like. Blue eyes. You should never trust a used elephant salesman. <laughs> <laughs> this elephant that's white with blue eyes. Right, so, this is、um, great. So, yeah. Uh, so uh. a fellow who didn't know what he was doing would buy the elephant and he'd get it back and it'd be all sort of lazy and stuff、oh, and we're doing kind, the stuff.、Yeah. Mm. And he'd say, "What's what's up with this?" And his mate, who's a bit of an expert with elephants, and go, "Oh, where do you bought that from?" And he say, "Oh, I got it off that fella." And he goes, "Oh, all should... this embellishing nonsense." <laughs> Come on, with the story. You shouldn't have bought that. So he goes, "Why?" And he says, "It's only albino, isn't it?" 
And he's like, what does that mean? And he said, oh, it's, it gets tired. Yeah. Um, it's not that good at doing work and that. You shouldn't it steals it. from you. But elephants back then were like a god. You know what I mean? Right. You couldn't, you couldn't say, oh, I'm sick of this, then I'm gonna abandon it or anything, okay. because ele elephants were seen as, like, pretty high up on the chain of things. So <laughs> they'd end up being stuck with an elephant, that's an albino, yeah. couldn't do much, gets tired, basically gets in the way, so they said, that's where they're saying, like, you know, but a bit of a white elephant there. <laughs> <laughs> what so, do you reckon, Rick? <laughs> I, I feel, I don't, I feel like I, I haven't been educated. I feel like I've lost something. <laughs> so at that time in my life I can never get back. I feel like I've sort of been soiled and I, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm angry. Sure, yeah, I can see that. And all that rubbish around, look at his little face. Well, what was that, all that <laughs> shit about a second-hand elephant salesman and his mate knew about elephants? <laughs> what is it, what are they, they had blue eyes. What are you... Well, there Albinos you go. have red eyes for a start. Yeah. Oh, that's it. We've run out of time. Oh, yeah. what? What? The, I mean, Sorry. what are you going to do about this next week? Are you going to actually do some w educating next week? And what about Rockbusters? Are you going to make the clues proper cryptic clues? Well, that's the teaser, isn't it? That's what we'll leave them with. We <laughs> <laughs> Will it be any good next week? <laughs> yeah. Tune in and find out on XFM 104.9. <laughs>
<laughs> as, as evidence. Just as evidence. Or we'll leave- I'll tell you what, we'll leave the DV camera in there, we neither of us to be in there, then we can just watch the video. Are you a couple of enders? No. Ah! <laughs> are you a couple of enders? No. <laughs> but can we- can we discuss further the, uh, taking of the shoe and the sock? Cause uh, I think there's twenty pounds in- I- I'm willing to pay twenty pounds to see that. See, a little surprise for you there. That's, uh, uh, Coldplay here, they're live through there. Thanks, um, can they hear me? Can they hear me? Um, uh, yeah, brilliant. Do you wanna- do you wanna say a few words? Do you wanna yeah, say Yeah, no, something? I'll have a quick word with Chris, uh, lead singer Chris. Chris, good to have you here. Hello. <laughs> and, um, um, how's it going with Gwyneth Paltrow? Brilliant, yeah. yes. She's uh, a lovely lady. Yeah, no, I thought so, yeah. I saw her in Shakespeare in Love. She's good she in good. that, yeah, isn't she? Yeah, if you would pass that on to her, just yeah, say well, I'm drunk. Yeah. Um, um, it's going alright. You gonna get married to her? Yeah, so I'm- I marry either her or that Julia Roberts going, woman. Yeah, either one is good. Yeah. Um, um, I know- to, uh, I know interest- I know you're on holiday at the moment in yeah. Hawaii. I read in the no, paper today. No, no. You're actually here. I'm actually here. <laughs> okay. Um, Gotta uh, go now, gotta go. Alright, just a couple of quick- See you later, Chris. Yes, see you, Ricky. So that's the sort of guests. That's the caliber of guests. We're just trying to up things. Just like Jonathan Ross. We've got guests like Jonathan Ross. That's Coldplay, just popped in. Just popped so, in. So if you're the Sony people listening, you brilliant. might wanna... And we've still got Carl to take off my sock for 20 quid, okay? Let's do it now. Let's just get it over with and do it now. Come on, Carl, let's get our cash out then, Rick. There's ten pounds right no, there. No, 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 you don't owe him, because he, he owes you ten, so I just have to pay him ten. Okay. Yeah. So, go on then, just not, take- Not whilst Coldplay are here. <laughs> <laughs> They've they had to shoot off. <laughs> Come no, on. I don't want to do it. Let's why not? It. Tell me what- It's been on now for half an hour. Okay, well, okay. Well, at the end of this, why won't you do it? It's ridiculous. You won't have a shower, you won't take my shoes and socks off, you won't do anything. You won't uh, give Dad wouldn't rub down. What will you do, for Christ's sake? I don't want to- I don't want to do it. Second, like mum and dad are, are, are like, I've heard about how well I'm doing in London. Yeah. Right? They've heard about, you know, the Sony Awards and that. They're yeah. talking to the mates, they're saying Carl's doing well for himself. Yeah. Let's have a listen to him on Sky. Yeah. They're tuning in, I'm taking off socks for money. What's <laughs> with That'll be the first time that anyone in your family has actually made, you know, money without stealing, thieving, yeah. it's or an honest, some kind of atrocity. Uh, let's just do it quick then, because it's getting on my nerves. <laughs> it's actually annoying me. Excellent. Excellent, alright, well, well you... Money, Steve. No, you... Well, he's just taking a ten off me. Right, okay. Okay, then let's go like that. You've got to do it properly, you've got to do it properly. No, you've got to do it properly. Just gently, I can't see what's happening. Just pretend I'm working on shop, there's nothing normal. Come on, just get it done. What's that? What's whistling? What's the whistling? <laughs> right. Okay, now do it properly, gently. Yes. <laughs> it's a sweaty trainer, which just makes right, it all the more. Just right. gently caress it, caress it. There's someone watching in the office. Caress it there. Don't just right, gently yeah. ease just the shot. Just gently right. off. Just right. like working on a shoe shop. There's nothing. <laughs> Nothing weird about it. Just gently yeah, ease it off. I'm gonna burst! I'm gonna burst! Alright, now it's just. Right, no, just gently come on, stop. gently do it. Don't just rip it off. Down, yeah. Yeah. Slowly, but slowly. Tease it. it. <laughs> tease it. Oh my god! I don't like this! I just wasted a tenner and that wasn't enjoyable. Now, 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 wait a minute, you've got to say. <laughs> so, you've got say to something nice about my ankle. So, you've got lovely toes and I love your ankle. You've got nice toes and that. <laughs> Say it properly. I don't like it anymore. Do it, and you've got right. to say, you've got to, you've got to say for the tenor. Otherwise, oh, you're taking it back. You've God. got to say what lovely ankles you've got, but in a sweet, seductive voice. Right. Oh. Right. You got nice ankles. <laughs> that is not how you would seduce a woman. Like you would not seduce a woman like that, Carl. Oh, I don't. <laughs> Suzanne. I don't. <laughs> Imagine that. I don't know. I don't feel good about it. Leave it off, because I want to see if we can get him to massage your toes. <laughs> See, I don't know what's worse. I, d I mean, I didn't like the feeling much. That wasn't very nice because it was all, it was all rough. And I, I, you know, and he's a, he's a skinhead and he's playing on the feet. And then I thought, oh, I've degraded him. So I don't know what I feel worse about. I'll g you can keep the tenner that you owe me if you massage his toes. No, I'm not doing that. No, no we paid him. He's done it. Yeah, the, the shoes are back on. We're with some else next week. Some else next week. The Senses by Feeder on XFM. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Alright. Alright? How are you doing, Carl? Yeah, I'm alright, yeah. Another yeah. holiday? Well, well, it wasn't a holiday. It wasn't a holiday. Well, it was. You had, you had five days off work. Why well, isn't it a holiday? You had five days not working for a living. You know how many days holiday gets a year now? Twenty nine. Oh, that's it, more than teachers, isn't it? It makes me sick. It makes me sick. Well, I know the kind of hours you work, Rick. <laughs> it's mad. I mean, if you're not in work by midday, you're furious. <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm always- 29's normal. For the normal working person. 
Yeah, but, you know. And anyway, it wasn't a proper holiday. I went to see my mum and dad. It's nice to see them and everything, but it's not holiday, is it? Why? Really? It's not going away. It's not getting on a plane, is it? Going away. Oh, is that definitely a holiday? What happened before 1950? Hmm. I don't know. Used to go to, yeah, exactly. People used to go to Blackpool, Brighton. That was holiday. Yeah, but I didn't Where did you go? Went to Wales. There you go. Lovely holiday. Lovely holiday. Have a holiday in Wales. That's what they say, innit? Have a, have a, come to the Wales and have a holiday. That's what <laughs> they say, innit? So, so, come to Wales and meet your parents. Come to Wales and have a lovely holiday. Right. Well, anyway, it was, uh, it was good and that. It's always good to see him. Yeah. But, um... Week off work. Do you know, do you know, like, my mum likes gnomes and stuff? Yeah. Right, uh... Of course she, she does. Said, oh, uh, She's lived with one for 30 years. She said, uh... <laughs> You know, get your dad to take us to this, uh, to this park where they've got, uh, like, you know, six foot gnomes and stuff, right? <laughs> Have a walk about. Sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. Sounds like a living nightmare. Keep an eye on Carl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyway. He stood still for two minutes, someone bought him. <laughs> no, 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 you can't buy him and that. It's like, a, it's like a little exhibition thing, yeah. right? And it's part of a hall, right? This big hall that you have to pay to get in, but... We didn't want to see the all, I just wanted to see the gnomes. Of course right? you did, yeah. So, uh, so anyway, my dad says, yeah, well, we can, uh, we can get in there for free. Of course he did, it's clever. Right? So, we parked up on this little country lane, right? <laughs> no one about, we walked How much down. was it to go in? Like two quid? About three quid each. Yeah. But he said, well, yeah, but if you don't have to pay, do you know what I mean? You enjoy it even more, don't you, when you're walking about and you're thinking, I've got this three quid in my pocket, no one's having it. Yeah. Right? Uh, no, looking over sort of for a bloke with a peak hat saying, can I see your ticket, please? <laughs> I wouldn't enjoy it more, no. Go on. Yeah, but you don't worry about it. Do You've you? got a bit of money now, then, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you've changed. So anyway, yeah. so we had to walk across about four fields. <laughs> For three quid. Right. And uh, what happened was uh, uh, we're walking through all these fields and what have you, big grass and muddy bits and all that. Cause it'd been raining <laughs> and uh, climbing over fences and stuff. And we're in this field, right? And I look to me right, and there's about. 30 cows all staring at us, right? And uh, Suzanne started to panic a bit. She said, This isn't, we shouldn't be here. And Dad says, Of course we can, we're allowed to go wherever we want, you know, all this land, it's, you know, it's rambler's rights and all that stuff. Yeah. And uh, take a cow if, cow if you want, so, unattended. Uh, <laughs> so, so, uh. So, it's right for leaving him in the field unattended, I'm having one. Yeah. And keep us for a week. Yeah. Anyway, these cows start surrounding us. <laughs> surrounding us. <laughs> and, uh, oh, brilliant. Oh, no. Face and, off. And Suzanne's panicking, going, this isn't right. He's gonna, we're, we're not gonna make it to the fence in time. They, they, they're moving faster than us, and he started sort of running a bit. Wow. And, uh, it's like some kind of like, bovine West Side story. Don't. <laughs> a gang of cows <laughs> coming at you. Don't worry about it and stuff. But, uh, my dad had to sort of stand there and, like, wave a stick at him. Of course. And, and, uh, and we got away, but... Suzanne was like having a bit of a sweat <laughs> on got away. saying, uh, you know, we could have got killed. Sure. And my dad saying, nah, it never happens. And <laughs> I just wondered if, if it does, if, if there's a risk of... Yeah, it's, it is rare, but um, there's been a couple of cases of being trampled by cows. They're not aggressive, they sort of run through you. Well, they, they're aggressive if they've got a calf. They do uh, have a, kids. A, 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 what? They had kids with them. Kids, yeah. That's a, that's a goat you're thinking of. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they were trying to sneak into the gnome thing, <laughs> and they were worried that, like, if too many people did it, <laughs> like, they thought some cows, we can just sneak in. They were trying, yeah. No one's expecting cows. And the cows were humans. going, walk upright like you're <laughs> human. Don't walk upright. <laughs> they thought you'd blow their cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, people have been killed by cows before. Yeah, that, yeah. That's, that was like the highlight, and then, uh... So when you arrived there, you were presumably covered in mud, looking like something that had just come from Glastonbury, staggering around this, this uh, it exhibition. Wasn't that, it wasn't that bad, it was just like a, a woods and it had like a, a funny sort of funeral pla uh, like a graveyard thing. Right. Mm. With bodies sort of hanging out the ground and that, and uh... Really? We had what? these six-foot gnomes. Right. Uh, and then we, we just set off again, walked back. But we you sure this wasn't a dream? Field. No, it was good, it was good. But then, then I got back, right, Steve? And, uh, called up Ricky, I said, right, uh, you know, are you about? Have a chat and that. So he said, oh, I'll just come round, it's a, it's a nice day. Have a drink and what have you. So I got round there at about half past six, right? Uh, go up to his door, knock on his door, right? He stood there with his tackle out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what did you make of that? What was wrong with that? What do you mean, what's wrong with Why that? Why were you I mean, looking at it? it? Why were you looking at it? I tried not to look at it. But again, you're always sort of attracted to it, aren't you? <laughs> kind of like, I've never been attracted to another man's tackle. I don't know what you mean. 
You can't help but have a, have a little sly look. <laughs> well, especially when it's there. When you when you ring the bell, and I mean the, the one on the door, right? <laughs> and that's, that's hanging out. And does he dress to the left or the right? It was to the left, right? Yeah, it was left, yeah. Just pop, just popped out of my shorts <laughs> for him. Just popped him out of the shorts. Should have seen the state of him. <laughs> shorts on, no top, a uh, cigar. <laughs> Look like someone out of The Sopranos. <laughs> it was a mess. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we, then we sat on the balcony drinking wine, didn't we? Did you pop it back in, or was it? Yeah, I, popped, I popped it straight back in. I've got the laugh. Sure, I've got the laugh that yeah. I wanted. Yeah. He walked in. He went. Mm, it's not that hot. Straight away. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hot. <laughs> oh, brilliant! Then, uh, was that knob news, or was there more? No, it's got more knob news. That's just a taster. Up. Just a taster. Listen, let's play some average. Let's play some great music, and maybe we should have some early knob news. Early knob news coming up. <laughs> Can't stop the spirits when they need you. This life is more than just a read through. Ooh, those chili peppers are quite hot. Can't stop. XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkerton. All right. Carl, you know what? You know what the time is. Bong. <laughs> Monkey news. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. Imagine if Trevor McDonald started like this. Yeah. There's. There's been a lot of stuff going on on that, with monkeys. Oh, yeah? I've also, I was mentioning earlier how we're sort of making the grocer, the, the, gro the feature grow a bit, uh -huh. right? So, I'm thinking, oh, I haven't told you, Steve, either. I've actually been asked to write a thing about monkeys. A poem? A no, what? no, for a magazine called uh, Something Apes. Right. They, want me, to do, they want me to do, uh... Like a column, 500 words. About, about, apes. about monkeys? Anything I want on monkeys. Anything. What are you going to write? Don't know. If, you know, think about it. Well, Is give it... him a tight white. I can't with Shakespeare eventually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you could anyway, write about that. Why didn't you write about that? You don't, the fact that you don't believe it. You don't believe that an infinite because, number of monkeys because, could type because you watch Shakespeare. Because you reckon most of them hadn't read Shakespeare, so they wouldn't know the, some of the spellings. <laughs> exactly. It wouldn't happen. You idiot. Get on with it. All right. right. The, uh, there's been a few things, but one that springs to mind is, uh, they found a load of monkeys somewhere. <laughs> right? This is brilliant. <laughs> yeah. I mean, imagine this if this was news. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Uh... Where? Somewhere. I think it was in, uh... 17th century? Uh... I don't- it doesn't matter that bit. Right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> found a load of monkeys yeah. that are, uh, having a good chat. <laughs> They're having a good chat. All right. They found monkeys that can talk. Yeah. Um, about f they've worked out they've got about five hundred and thirty-four different words that they're using to like have a chat about. Stuff. More than you. <laughs> yeah. What do they chat about then? Just you know things that monkeys are worrying about. Just <laughs> you know, where do you get that from? Uh, <laughs> you know. Who does your hair? <laughs> you going out with her again? Are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Have you seen that, uh... Sorry, you can't just leave that. No, 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 I'm just intrigued. I'm just intrigued to know what else. Is there any... No, were I they, mean, that, that Were they was... discussing the humanity? Did you see that programme on Channel 5? Yeah. He can walk up right. Yeah. Good, but, right? Did what, you see how they, well Do you mean they taught them... They taught, they taught themselves this language? Yeah. Where? Where is this? In the wild is this, is it? Um Not sign language, it's but... It's in, in some jungle somewhere. They found these monkeys. He heard some, you know, some explorers over there. Cutting through the the woods and that, and he heard his name, heard and he thought, "That's what he went. What do you want, Riley? Well, it wasn't me. I didn't say. Yeah. I, I didn't say. I always snod grass. Where'd you get that gun? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I, well, it's only me and you here. <laughs> yeah, that's weird, <laughs> isn't it? No, it's not weird. It's not true. Well, right, come on, then, what's well, next? Once again, but what I'm thinking. Well, I mean, that did happen. So, well, Carl, over to you. This is the uh, the time where we play. Well, the world well, famous. This quiz, isn't it? Rockbusters, isn't it? Yeah. Which is Blackbusters but with music. See you later. <laughs> cryptic clues and that. Do you want to say Not really. Day? Not really cryptic, but go We've on. got a number of DVDs to give away, uh, including some uh, teacher's DVDs. We've got a bunch of CDs here and also Ricky Gervais's uh, live stand-up DVD. Animal, Animals, brilliant. Which cool. is not good at all. I really would not encourage people to buy that. It is well. weak observations poorly performed. <laughs> I would recommend <laughs> The Office series two on DVD. Rubbish that's in that. Available. I'm awful in that. You can actually see me forgetting some of my lines. That's true. <laughs> Go on. Right then. So cryptic clues. Um, 
just an example, might be new, I reckon people will be staying in today because it's raining and that, so, yeah. might not have heard it before. Yeah. So, like, uh... Or they have and they're not listening. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, whatever. Uh, oh, good, you <laughs> gave up on that, did you? <laughs> three, three... Well, give us an example of the sort of thing. Uh, that, that, uh... Jeez. All right, maybe don't. Listen, uh, that uh, long. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm a broadcaster. And, uh, yeah. yeah, words are my tool. <laughs> Go on. All right, forget Come that. Come on, Baldy. Right, three, three clues then. Here's the first one. It's a band or an artist. Yeah. Right. I'm going to the northeast. What are you going there for? Good point. Good question. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so, I mean, yeah, if it had been why you're going to the northwest, that's a different yeah. matter. Go going on. to the northeast, what are you going there for? Right. Yeah. S is the initial, so it's a band or an artist who's who starts with an S, and that's the clue. Right. Second one. Uh, oh yeah, she's uh, she's related to the man in the lamp. Right. That's G. Right. She's related to the man in the lamp. Right. And the third one is uh, the Jamaican fella. Would love to live there, but it's a little bit pricey. <laughs> oh God, I feel an accent coming. That's on. one way you're gonna have to think about it with the accent. I the imagine. Initials there, D S D S for that one, right? So the Jamaican fellow would love to live live there, but you know, a bit dear and that, isn't it? a bit pricey. So, uh, <laughs> so, so give us some again quickly. Right, the first one. I'm going to the northeast. What are you going there for? That's S. <laughs> She's related to the man in the lamp, you know. That's G, Changes and a bit. the Jamaican fellow would love to live there, but a little bit pricey. Mm -hmm. And okay. that's D S. So uh, email in or text and that. Ricky dot Gervais at xfm dot co dot uk. What's or the text? text? Eight three xfm. Uh, yeah. What's that? Surprises. So, Brilliant. Right. Play some ads. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Well, no, oh, you can't that's... listen to radio in every uh, after every record. It's bad enough trying to keep them listening with the rubbish we come out yeah, with. Yeah, we've got rockbusters here. Let's get them back. <laughs> right. Right, Come on the then. Right, has uh, anyone got all three? No. No, right, okay, so there's some- I'm gonna be ang- I'm gonna ban Rockbusters. Cos- okay, go on then, what are the clues again? Tell me the answers. Well, give us the ones that they did get. Alright, well they did get, um, She's Related to the Man in the Lamp. What's that? That was G. That Gina- was, That was- that Genie. was Genesis. Right? Genesis? Like Genesis. So, G the sister of the genie, Genesis, Genesis, they got that one. No, 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 no. What, what, what's the band's name? Genesis. No, 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 Genesis. say the band name. Genesis. 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 Right, okay. Well, I don't get it, because genie is nothing well, like that. Well, they did, so don't right, worry okay. about it. Stop worrying about the ads, stop worrying about that, all right? The third one was, uh, the Jamaican fella would love to live there. Go on. But it's a little bit pricey. Go on. Right? That what was, was the initial? DS. Deer Streets. What? It's, it's a dear street to live on. Dear streets? Oh yeah, I, I haven't heard of them. Are they, but what are they, a band? That's, that's Dire Straits. No, it's not Dire Straits! It's not Dire Straits, oh, Dear Streets! The Jamaican fella. Go on, go on, there. make it sound like that. Like, dear Streets. Dear Streets. <laughs> dire Do it again. Straits. No, it's still not. Keep going. I, I haven't got it yet. Dear, go on. Dear Streets. Dear Streets. They got that one as well, so... Alright, well let's hear the one they did Can I do an impression of a Jamaican fella saying Dire Straits? Right, uh, <laughs> the first It's not one, the same! The first one they struggle, struggle with was, um, I'm going to the northeast. What are you going there for? Well, you know, when you say struggled with, no one got this. No one got it. People go on then. didn't even attempt it. Okay, go on, the northeast, what? I'm going to the northeast. What are you going there for? Seal. S seal? What? Hull. Hull's up in the northeast. Hull is, yeah, Sea yeah. Hull, yeah. Yeah, so. I haven't heard of them for? either. Is that a seal, right? So that works. Who's Seal? Seal. seal. So, oh, Seal? Yeah. What's that got to do with the North, though? Seal. <laughs> so I would say it, innit? Okay, that's the end of Rockbusters. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's the end of Rockbusters. I can't believe we even brought it back, Rick. Right? I'm, right. I'm serious, that's the end of Rockbusters. Can I be honest with you? Go on. I'd love to hear some adverts now instead of that. Well, so would I. That is, that, adverts are better than that. Yeah. I'm just saying Laura. Doesn't matter. Laura's Fine. the one with Well done, Laura. Right? She well done, Laura. Two, but we'll give her that. Yeah, just play so, the ads. Right. I'm actually looking forward to the ads. Really looking forward to it. I hope there's a <laughs> <laughs>